It may only be one sperm, there may be two or three, but only very few sperm are actually fighting for that final prize. Eventually one sperm will hit the outer coat of the egg and this is it. This is the moment that they've been waiting for. To secure victory, all this sperm has to do now is find a way inside. The sperm is carrying this, this genetic payload for delivery, but that genetic payload has to be able to get into the egg. And the way that it gets into the egg is the sperm literally blows its top. Above the head of the sperm, there's kind of a bag of juices, a bag of enzymes that are really important at this stage of the process. By touching an egg, that bag bursts and those enzymes will facilitate the sperm in finally penetrating through um, the outer coat of the egg. The great sperm race has been won. The victorious male sperm is instantly devoured as Glenn's genetic information merges with Emily's waiting DNA. So you get this elegant dance of male chromosomes and female chromosomes coming together which will officially announce the fact that that egg is fertilised and that new life has been created and development of a new individual has started. Just 14 hours ago, hundreds of millions of sperm embarked on the most incredible adventure in the natural world. An adventure that claimed all their lives. So what made that winning sperm special? Why did it succeed over billions of others? When you think about the odds that any single one of us are, are here right now, compared to the hundreds and millions of, of other sperm that in that ejaculate were left behind, there could have been a smarter offspring, handsomer, more athletic, better in every way, ones that just didn't make it because they either weren't in the right place at the right time, or you know, they just didn't find their way through the cervix or the uterotubal junction, or maybe they capacitated a little too early before the egg got there, or maybe they were you know, a little too late to capacitate. So there's just a lot of luck involved with it as well as to which sperm actually is, is able to fertilize. Yet one unremarkable sperm, against odds of trillions to one, did not die in vain. It has given its life to start an utterly unique new one. To find out more about the science of sperm and to play an original game that allows you to experience life as a sperm, go to channel4.com and search for the Great Sperm Race. And Heston Blumenthal's got a race on his hands tomorrow on 4 too. Six hungry guests waiting for a Roman feast at nine. Next, they're rewarding the hard workers in The Secret Millionaire.